We're going to do this memory card program in an object-oriented fashion. So we're going to start by creating our cards class. We're going to name the class card. And traditionally, when you create a class, it's named with a capital letter, which is why the, the C is here. Now I should have these matching. It should match the name here. So class cards and cards. And what I'm what it's saved as. That's the proper way to do it. I'm going to declare a P image, which is going to be our card image. I'm going to have show. This is going to tell me, am I, am I showing the back of the card, which would be zero. Um, I have the card width. I have the card height. Those are just references. I don't actually use them. I might in some games. I can comment them out now. It's good to know what the actual widths are, but I don't actually need to use them. I have my card X, which is the X position and the card Y, and face value because it's going to get a face value from our array. We have an array of card names, which are the actual locations of the cards. I've actually put in more than I need in case you wanted to take it further. And we have, in the data folder, we have cards. One of my students created these for me. But we have a whole set. I have a whole set of cards available. This one only goes through uh, Jack and Queen. But I do have a full set available that we'll be using for the final project. And then I'm going to have um, my constructor cards, and it's accepting an integer for x, an integer for y, and an integer for face value, and that would be the index of the cards. I have a display function, and I have a display front function, which makes show equal to face value. In the next video, I'll go through the memory start portion of the program.